Greetings, my friends. Thanks for stopping by, and Happy New Year's Eve. So my stovetop heater came in. You can get these on Amazon or Walmart, even though Walmart's out of stock right now. And Amazon, they won't arrive until February. I bought one of the last ones they had at Walmart.com. Just uh, search uh, stovetop heating cover or camping heating cover for stovetop. And uh, they pop up. It's easy to find. Looks like a big can of soup with several layers on the inside. A lot of louvers, a lot of holes. All kind of apparatus in there. You do want to run this outside for five minutes or so to burn the, uh, the a little bit of paint off, you know, that they use on there because it'll stink for the first few minutes. So do that outside. After that, you're good to go. So I've added this little heat block here. I notice this cover gets a little warm when you're cooking. And the butane's right there. So I thought, you know, we need to keep that cool. So I put that on there. And it keeps this cold to the touch. Aluminum foil is the way to go for blocking heat. This little guy is the handle so when you pick it up. You know, and it's going to be hot for a long time. I got a couple of hooks around here. I hook it on to let it cool. Like that. I got another one on the other door over there. This one, I'm going to have to put some aluminum foil right here. Don't want to uh, scorch that wood. All right, let's turn her on. It'll start glowing. I don't run it on high though. I, I just put it down. Just say butane about right there. And there is a lot of heat that comes off of this. It's best to put this down in the floor. And uh, I have my little, uh, I usually put it over here. I'll move the buddy heater and put it right there. And then I had this USB fan that blows down on it to keep all the heat from just rising up, you know, and being wasted. But uh, Walmart is back in stock on the uh, camping propane bottles, the little green ones. So I've got eight bottles now. So I'll be switching back and forth from using this, and I also still will be using the buddy heater. Uh, this aluminum foil here, it's for nothing. It's just a little thing I had going on there, so I usually just put it down in the floor to keep the keep the uh, heat from getting too hot in front of the buddy heater. So yeah, this is great. So now when they run out of propane again, butane's easy to find right now. It's, it seems like it goes back and forth. Some months butane is hard to find, and some months propane is hard to find, but... Walmart has the propane, and it's back down to the normal uh, $3 a bottle price. The last time I paid 5 a bottle. But this is going to be great. This puts out an uh, amount of heat you can actually control, you know. Unlike the buddy heater, it tends to put out too much, even on low. You know. Oh, it's, look, check out these little magnets. I uh, fixed a little string through them, a little paracord. So they're easy. They're so strong. This way it's easy to pull them off. I ta attach them up here. I hang clothes like this. Like if I wore a pair of pants for like an hour or two and I just want to hang them up and wear them again the next day, I can just hang them right here with just the magnets. And I'll just keep these right over there. I got a ton of those magnets. All right, back to my little heater. You got to get one of these. Camping stove top heating cover, I think is the code word you want to put in when you're searching. Oh, yeah. 
But typically, you know, when I'm using it, I just move the buddy heater. And I put it right here where the buddy heater was. And because you want your heat source as low to the floor as you can get it. And then with it sitting there, and then with the USB fan blowing on it, it keeps the heat from just going straight up to the ceiling. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad you stopped by, and I uh, hope you take care of yourself. Be well, and smash the bell. Bye.